Hey everyone, uh, my name is One. Uh, if you don't know me, I get the privilege of serving as one of the pastors at Rooted Fellowship. Now to keep to the promise that we made in last week Friday's email where we said we would communicate today with what we are going to do with regards to our public worship gatherings and all of this in light of the president's announcement last week Tuesday where he gave permission to religious institutions of which we fall a part of to now gather with less than 50 people while adhering to the strict and necessary precautions. Um, here's where we've landed, right? After much conversation with the elders, after praying, after seeking uh, counsel from leaders uh, within Rooted Fellowship and outside of Rooted Fellowship, we've decided uh, to not gather on a Sunday at our normal uh, place of public worship, which is New Hope School, but rather to continue on the various digital platforms that we are now on. Now, this was not an easy decision to make. Uh, we had to take a lot of factors into consideration. And so I'm just going to share a few of those with you. Uh, the first is we recognized that while this has been a difficult season, the church being scattered, uh, we have seen God use this time to reach people that we could not necessarily have been able to reach. Uh, we've seen much growth at Rooted Fellowship and that we are incredibly thankful for. And so we just want to recognize the Lord in that. We want to celebrate him in that. Um, and we want to continue to press in as we monitor what's going on around us. We want to press into these various digital platforms that we are now on. We've also heard feedback from you, and many of you are, are very thankful for what we have been doing. Uh, you speak about how you have grown in this season, and so we are thankful for that. Another reason that we had to take into consideration was that we don't own the space that we meet at. Uh, that New Hope has been so generous to us to allow us week in and week out to go in there and make uh, that space our home. And so because we're sharing that with the school, uh, there's a lot of regulations that we have to adhere to uh, in terms of sanitizing, uh, making sure that the place is clean when we go in, when we go out. Um, and so we just said to ourselves, with the number that we are now, we would probably have to have four, five, six gatherings on a Sunday. And so the amount of uh, cleaning and sanitizing, the expense of all of that, uh, right now, we just felt that that was not the best decision. That wouldn't necessarily be the best stewardship of what the Lord has given us. Another reason was uh, as we continue to monitor what's going on in South Africa, we, we just wanted to make sure that we are uh, loving everyone and making sure that everyone is safe and healthy because we have folks who are part of our community who are vulnerable. And even if they are not vulnerable, uh, they are connected to or uh, live and work with people who are vulnerable. And, and so we uh, want to be loving. We want to make sure that everyone remains safe and healthy as we monitor, as we're still trying to figure out uh, where all of this will go, particularly in this winter season. Now, I know that there's a number of people who feel differently about this. There's some who are saying we should meet, we should get together. Uh, there's a number of you that are saying we shouldn't. We're asking that in this season, as we continue to monitor, as we continue to seek counsel, uh, that you would be gracious, that you would be patient, and that you would seek unity. Uh, because when we are unified, Jesus says, we then put on display the kingdom of God, that they will know that we are his disciples by the way that we love one another. Even if we're not all on the same page, uh, let's seek unity. And so I'm going to read uh, from the scriptures. Uh, I'm going to close our time uh, with a benediction. Uh, a benediction is a, I mean, you guys know it. Um, and here, Paul is writing to the church in Ephesus. He's just prayed for them. And then he says, okay, now here's how I want you to conduct yourself. Here is how I want you to live. He calls them to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call. 
one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. And so that's our hope as an eldership, uh, that we would continue to press into the gospel, that we would continue to seek our Father's face, that there would be much growth in our community and beyond, uh, that we would seek unity in this season, uh, that God will keep us, he will care for us, and he will get us through. And so friends, until that day, we can gather in one location. Uh, Let's continue uh, to press on, to press forward, and let's continue to trust the one who is seated on the throne. I love you guys. I hope you keep safe and healthy. And until that day where we can be in one space, uh, let's keep trusting uh, in the Lord.